What's up, bro? Seems like every What's up, bro? gotta maintain the cap. You can make change, don't change for that. Tell the whole truth, get paid for that. Bet you never fall off, you was made for that. You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside. So what is this? This is just their burger I am fries. Burger I am fries. So I dip it or just eat it? Uh, you can just eat it, bro. It's honestly that good. Almost tastes like a chip, bro. It is like a chip, but a soft chip. It's not. It's really not. good. I never tried that before. <laughs> That's good. Bro, this place is straight fire. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Struggle, back to another video. And in today's video um, is another very enjoyable video for me, mainly because I love modifying a car that's so, so, so cheap and making it look absolutely stunning for the money. You guys know that we got this car for little to nothing and uh, we've done a huge transformation to it already. I mean, it basically looks like an M3 <laughs> in the interior. I mean, it is an M3, it is an M3. We got M3 seats right here. We got the M3 steering wheel, DCT paddles, um, and this is just your standard um, E92 M3. We even have the door cards and everything. Um, no, it's not. 92 m3 it's a 328 as you guys know for long time subscribers we got the bamboo leather again the bamboo leather door panels the bamboo armrest um just the normal armrest not no extended armrest uh we got the dct steering wheel from m3 the trim the the paddle i mean the paddles literally everything on there bamboo uh wood as well m3 mirrors as well these are all oem m3 stuff not like mirror caps this is the actual mirror from an m3 and uh yeah i mean just sitting in this car and driving it is very 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 enjoyable and i wanted to do more and more things to this car i mean only when i see good deals for example i really wanted some black headliner i really don't like um this 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 color uh, headline i just i'm not a fan of it i think black headliner should come in every single bmw and bmw knows this that's why they literally charge you a premium for the sport line package so you can actually get those uh those pillars in black but we're gonna be replacing literally this everything on this roof in black and then also guys i found something that's so rare that you guys are not gonna believe <laughs> as you guys can see your man went a little ham and getting some retrofits for his daily we literally got every Every single black piece for the headliner we even got some new door seals that say m on it um now these do come off of an m3 or an m sport so yeah i'm not actually putting any m3 badges on the car but normally if you have an m sport package 328 instead of saying bmw right there um it's gonna have that exact same label right over here so again we're not throwing any m3 badges on the car but the m badges kind of just make it more of an m sport feeling it just looks so much better and as you guys can see this is the new stuff that we ended up getting for the dashboard we got a we got an extended leather dashboard glove box. So you guys can see the stitching right here. The leather feels amazing. Literally feels like the, the like the Napa leather on the seats itself. And the dashboard, guys, is the extended leather with the stitching all over. It is absolutely filthy, mainly because it was sitting in the back of a shop and they didn't know what to do with it. They, I guess they just assumed it was like beige um, because you guys know the beige ones are super cheap. But no, this is the bamboo one because as you guys can see, it's the half half. You got stitch going along on the side there. Um, more stitching going along on the side over here as well. The armrest as well as the split split 50-50. I'm actually going to be selling this armrest because I already have an armrest. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, this is the bamboo extended leather dashboard with glove box and center console all extended. This alone, guys, like on eBay is like $2,000. I got it for $400. So, that is absolutely insane. Now, in terms of all this black headliner stuff with all those pieces over there, on eBay, just those pieces over there is like $400 bucks without the M seals. M seals, another, probably another, you know, $100. Bucks. This headliner, another $500. Bucks. We're talking a grand for literally all of that stuff over there your man got it for 200 bucks so that is a super big score so everything you guys see over here is 600 dollars, and that's just what you get when you actually just wait for a good deal now that i have it it's gonna be so satisfying dumping the 600 dollars, technically worth about three thousand plus dollars onto this car but for 600 dollars, <laughs> it's such a good deal so without further ado we have a lot on our hands guys we have to remove literally the dashboard entirely the center console the headliner everything i don't know if you're gonna be able to knock out all this in one video but i'm gonna try my best
Guys, we finally have the dashboard out. We're going to go ahead and clean our new dashboard, our new center console. Before we actually do any of those, I actually want to put up the headliner right now um, just because uh, we have more space. The, the, the dash is actually out of the car, so we do have a lot more space to get that headliner in there without creasing it. So let's go ahead, try to get that headliner up there, and then start cleaning up our new dashboard and our new center console. Oh, I'm sorry, was that you? I thought I heard a whale. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick, and I'm back with another video. Back with another banger, as usual. Sorry, no way, here. bro. You got everything in today. I'm working on I'm trying to get everything in, yeah. Bro, you're working hard. Yeah, man. What's shaking, bro? What are you doing? Cinematic? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It was raining. I was gonna, I was gonna try to film everything, but if I damage my new camera, you guys want to have videos for like a month. So I was like, let me just try to at least get this stuff together, and I'll show y'all in a minute. <laughs> 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 I didn't even know you could put it like that, bro. <laughs> so what's the plan, bro? When are you getting the R8? I want to talk to you from a YouTube, uh, from a subscriber perspective. From a subscriber's perspective? When are you, you know, getting the R8, bro? You know, some people tell me just to get the R8 right now, but my, my boy behind the camera knows that if I go spend all my money on an R8 right now, guys, I might be balling out off camera, but I can't make you guys content anymore, so I need the money. So what I'm doing is playing at the long game, gonna try to get more than enough money for the R8 to where when we get the R8, we can still get a sick build at the same time, so. That's the goal. That makes sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I mean, hopefully, I mean, like they know, I mean, I said towards the end of the year. So, I mean, fingers crossed. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be, you know? <clears throat> In the meantime. I agree, bro. It's not, it's not all about looking good. You got to be, you got to be playing hard, too. You can't just be looking. Facts. You can't be driving an R8 and be broke as shit. You can't, I, take, you, you, I can't be uh, taking my wife to McDonald's in R8. Exactly, bro. So I, <laughs> you got to be big. I mean, you got to have, in my opinion, bro, speaking from a perspective of like having an R8 in the garage right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just play them. No, no, no. But like, but like, yeah. You can't be do. You can't spend all your money on R eight, and then over here struggling with bills and taking your wife out to McDonald's. Like that's not. You know, if you if you can afford to do everything else and then get an R eight and not even hurt you, that's the time to get. And an then R8. continue doing a build like a super build yeah, or an E ninety one M three. You gotta yeah. have that extra just hundred laying around in order in order to get that not and an still extra, be. I would say an extra like thirty or forty, but like if you get a total one. If you get in a total. So for every 100K, I think you should have an extra 30 or 40. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, that's how I feel. So if you get a $200,000 car, you should be having at least another 60 in the bank at least. Um, just but, chilling. Uh, just chilling, yeah. Like, you don't need to use it. But uh, that's the goal. That's the goal. So you won't be seeing me hopefully uh, keep constantly buying 328s by then. But meantime, I mean, this 328 bro, I mean, is coming this, together, bro. I was about to say, this 328 <laughs> looking kind of good, bro. <laughs> looks I'm not like going to lie. Three, he's got bro. the headliner. He's got the M3 interior extended dash. I oh, mean, it's looking good, right? Bro. Bro, that's insane, dude. I don't I'm, know what looks better, you or this car. <laughs> I'm free on Saturday, bro. <laughs> bro, oh, it's really coming together, though. Yeah, th those door seals need some changing. Oh, yeah, we're going to be replacing that hopefully when we get everything else buttoned up. Yeah, man, it keeps on raining on and off, I huh? know, dude, that's the problem. And, guys, we are officially back at my place, and the interior is looking so much better. Uh, but there's still a lot of things that we got to get fixed. As you guys can see, now, this is a full M3 bamboo extended leather package in here, and it just looks so, so, so good. Um, now, there is a lot of dirt and stuff like that on the leather itself. This right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, uh, but there's a lot of dirt within the, the dashboard itself, so I really want to, like, clean that out real good. I don't know if 
you guys can see the gap in the trim piece. And the reason for this is, is that if you have a LCI um, center console, a pre-LCI shift knob is not going to fit in there properly without doing a little bit of trimming down there. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing to get this thing to fit properly so we don't actually have a gap down here. This trim piece eventually is going to be completely replaced just because, I mean, this is the only non-M thing in this car. But for, but for now, we are still rocking this. Um, this center armrest is still in working condition. It does the sliding effect and all that stuff. But this is a lot more cracked up than the one I bought before. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out the armrest. We're definitely going to be keeping this, obviously, the extended leather center console right here. This is where all the money's at. And it just looks so good. I never had an extended leather on um, center console on any of my e-chassis before. On this side, as you guys can see, it is kind of dirty. I don't know if it's dirty or this is damaged. Um, I know this side over here, it's damaged right over here. Um, as for this, I think a little bit of heat and this will come out. Same with this guy. Um, so yeah, there's still some imperfections. There's a lot of dirt on this dashboard. Um, so I really, really just want to get all this cleaned up. But I think the primary focus right now is to get that fixed, the, the fitment, and get this replaced. So the last thing we have to do is just detail this interior. And just like that guys, we have the better looking armrest on here. It looks way, way, way better functioning perfectly um now i don't want to close right now because this thing's up right now but um the reason why this trim piece isn't fitting on this center console is because of those two little plastic things right down there i don't know if you guys can see those two lines down there i pretty much just have to break those two little like these things right here i don't know if it, this thing that i'm putting my finger on you have to break these two because those two are supposed to like help put pressure on a cic controller but since this is a ccc oh man what the heck <laughs> I did not know it does that. I don't think it's supposed to do that to be honest with y'all But since the CCC is thicker it is hitting right into that and it's causing a big gap against this So uh, yeah, the goal is is to try to just break those two little plastic things down there to where this controller just sits flush And now that the trim piece is sitting flat, the armrest is now in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you guys some befores and some afters so you guys can see the transformation of this center console and dash. Now, obviously, do not forget about our black headliner that we got installed into this car, guys. The black headliner looks so, so, so much better. And I mean, like, man, guys, this interior is really coming together. And I'm happy that it's all being done at a budget so we're not spending crazy amount of money on this 328. Like, again, I think in total on this 328, guys, I'm into it about three thousand dollars and that's including the paint on the bumpers and that's including getting the rear m sport bumper obviously the, the full m3 interior and a bunch of other little things on this car as well literally everything we've done on this car guys has equated to three thousand dollars at our cost so i mean for three thousand dollars guys oh yeah and i forgot the m3 mirrors as well the m3 steering wheel and stuff like that <laughs> i'm gonna keep listing things like the shifter the new headlight lenses um again so many things so many things i can't even list has been done to this car and i think for the money guys who wouldn't like to daily drive an interior that looks like this like wow so yeah this is actually looking pretty ugly right now we need to go ahead and clean everything up so yeah here's some befores
So guys, the good thing is we got everything pretty much cleaned up. The bad thing is when we got it all cleaned up, we started noticing a lot more imperfections. And uh, you know, that's all right considering the price that we got this for, but we have a little bit of imperfections right over here. Um, this right here, we cleaned off all the dark black stuff. But as you guys can see, there's still a lot of like leather fade or something. So that is really unfortunate. Some leather fade over here as well. And then some over here, some rips and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, but it's all right there. Unfortunately, we got all this kind of cleaned out, which I'm really happy about it was super gross in here um so that's nice obviously we also got this in here as well um this one is just super 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 nice for those of you guys who have a beige interior and want kind of like a split armrest i do have another armrest it's gonna be in my ebay account down below it isn't as good condition as this one you guys saw it that's why i went ahead and installed this and this one looks so much better but yeah guys the full interior is looking super good and this side is well cleaned up pretty nice just that little right there and uh i feel like honestly guys if i go ahead and get some kind of like leather their repair person to come in here um they're gonna be using the same dye for all of this entire interior so i might even just get that done to just fix up every little imperfection in this interior i'm sure it just cost me a couple hundred bucks but it'll make this interior absolutely beautiful I got the seats i got the seats and everything for like 750 and then i got the dash and center console for another 400 dollars. so for almost 1200 dollars, guys do you think this interior is worth it i mean i genuinely do just because the leather just feels absolutely amazing as a daily driver plus my old seats were not heated these are heated and uh, now I have a split armrest as well. And just obviously this just, this just looks way better. So let me know down below, is $1,200 a good deal for this? But at the same time, I do like to take into account because I'm a kind of guy that likes to, you know, look at the profit loss statements. And uh, basically we did sell the old interior uh, for $300. So that brings us from 1,200 down to 900. Um, so that is our cost for this interior so far. And then I also still have the black CIC dashboard, which I'm pretty sure that is worth about $200, but I'm actually gonna be keeping it um, for the E91 because once we do a full, E91 M3 swap. Odds are, if we get an M3 from Copart, it's gonna have a blown dash, so we're definitely gonna be saving that dash, which was gonna save us $200. So if you wanna put all that into account, this interior is pretty much seven to $900, which is an absolute steal of a deal. And for those of you guys who keep asking me in the comments, Nor, what's going on with the Supra? For those of you guys who are on my Patreons, you guys know what is going on and what I had to order to get everything situated. But yeah, basically we did order a new quarter panel for this door. In the last video, I said this is kind of a bad job. Um, I didn't mean like it was a bad Bad job I just expected the way he explained it to me was he was gonna pull it all out and it was gonna be literally perfect gaps and then we just slap on a little bit of bondo and call it a day um, but obviously I mean this is this is a lot of hard work I mean I'm not I'm not trying to like say that whoever that did this did not put in a lot of good work that's why I paid him for his time because he did an amazing work paid fourteen hundred dollars for this repair and honestly without this repair we wouldn't be able to have a clean cut to put on a new quarter panel so regardless guys he did a great job I'm just saying all this little perfecting he's done over here is gonna have to be cut out anyway so uh, if we would have known that earlier, he wouldn't have to try his absolute best. And I just wish the edges were a little bit better because maybe it could have been savable. But at the same time, this is a super. We're not going to cut any corners. So we ordered a new quarter panel and actually it should be coming in today. So hopefully as soon as that comes in, guys, we're going to be sending this off to the frame shop once again to get that new quarter panel welded back on there. You guys also know that we already passed brake and light inspection on the Supra, which is really, really, really good. So once we get that new quarter panel on there and everything painted, the last thing would be just be VIN verification. And as long as everything checks out we'll be great in the navy <laughs> now before actually concluding this video for those of you guys who are also wondering about the e91 m3 build what's going on with that i have two cars on my watch list i have an e90 m3 dct on my watch list and i have an e90 m3 manual in my watch list let me know down below guys which one you guys would rather see on this channel swapped into the e91 m3 do you guys want the e91 m3 to be a manual or a dct i'm gonna be going 100 percent off of my patreon's vote so if you guys vote for dct on my patreons i'm definitely gonna be going with the dct if you guys vote manual it's gonna be manual so if you guys want to be a big part of what this build is going to be make sure to check out the patreon down below but without further ado that is going to have to conclude the video we still have so many more modifications for this bad boy over there i literally have so many like sitting right over there um for retrofitting and just so much more cool things this is the daily driver and we're going to make it super 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 sick and as soon as we get the donor car we're going to be going full ham on the e91 and as soon as i get the quarter panel on the super we're going to send it on the super so without further ado guys that is going to have to conclude the video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out